So it's been some time since I've made a proper video. Let's kind of go over some DaVinci Resolve updates and what I've been up to. Explore a wide selection of pre-made creative tools for DaVinci Resolve, like titles, transitions, slideshows and infographs, like bar charts and callouts, and much, much more. Link in the description for more information. So if you haven't seen, Blackmagic Designs has just released a new version of DaVinci Resolve. Uh, like a lot of people have been saying in the past, they wish that Blackmagic would just kind of fix issues instead of adding a whole bunch of features. Well, this uh, update fixed a ton of problems and there was a couple of features added in there. One of the updates that I think kind of went under the radar for a lot of people is the Frame.io update. If you've never heard of Frame.io, it's a platform in which allows you to work remotely. The new update with DaVinci Resolve is the DaVinci Resolve editor and Frame.io. One of the new things is all of those comments that you now get, you can mark them as being complete, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, if you've never heard of Frame.io, just they have a ton of videos on their website go take a look uh, it's a pretty cool product I don't use it anymore but I would still recommend anyone to use it especially if you use um, DaVinci Resolve and now with all the uh, updates with the integration uh, but yeah they pretty much did a whole bunch of fixes for DaVinci Resolve and just a couple of like new features that they've added in like all of DaVinci Resolve updates and upgrades they're all free and if you have the free version the free versions there as well so go download it and give it a shot. The other thing is, uh, at least for the people that have purchased my products, the um, Force Transitions Pack, was, there was an update given to that, and then there was also an update given to the Callout Pack. Um, those were things that I've been working on for the past couple of weeks. Those are now uh, out. Uh, if you have one of them, you can log into your account and you can download it. You should have received an email um, some people were telling me that that email ended up going into spam. All of the updates are available. You just log in and then you can download it. Uh, the other thing is I'm kind of thinking of new videos to make for DaVinci Resolve. And I know that the vast majority of people want me to make fusion stuff. Uh, I was kind of spinning my wheels on trying to come up with a new uh, idea, but a couple of people have submitted ideas. If there's something that would be of interest to you guys, just send me a message and uh, take a look at it. Um, what else? I've been personally working on new ideas for like packs that I've been thinking of. Set it up in a way in which would enable you to affect the lighting, change the color of the light, change the intensity of the light like I did. Uh, I, I had a little teaser on my Twitter about it here. Um, so I was thinking of doing something like that. I don't know if people would be interested in that. The, and I was thinking of making a ton of different like options. So I would have maybe like a timeline already in place that would be you know, one version of it. But then I would also have maybe two or three different versions of all the clips that are on the timeline. I'm pretty much just telling you guys for some feedback here. Uh, I'd be really interested to hear what you guys think of packs like that. If you do have some ideas on packs or something that you would like to see you know, put together, I do have on my website, it seems like a lot of people don't know about it, but on my website at the bottom, there is like a submit form that you can submit some type of idea. If it's something that, that I can create and that more than one person would be interested in, by all means, I'm, you know, willing to take the time into seeing if I can develop something and then also put it out there. That's kind of what I've been up to. I would really like to create a couple of videos. I'm just kind of spinning my wheels on what exactly I should be putting my time into creating. I'm guessing that a lot of you guys are also kind of sick of being stuck in the house. I know a lot of places are slowly starting to get life back to normal, but for now, this is kind of what we have to work with. So that's the update that I have. Kind of feel like I'm going in circles at this point. Open to comments, criticism, thoughts on stuff I talked about here, new pack ideas. But yeah, so that's kind of where I've been. Again, if you have interest in seeing a particular product come to life on my website i do have that submit uh form that you can throw some submissions if there is uh, if there if i do have more questions about 
your submission i'll just reach out to you and get a better understanding of what you have so yeah i'm just going to leave it at that i hope that everyone is staying safe and uh yeah with that being said my name's Shar. thanks for watching guys have a good one